Are you ready for the ultimate in entertainment? Well, that's what you get with the state-of-the-art technology of Cox Digital Cable. Cox Digital Cable means more. More channels, more movies, more music, more programming variety, more entertainment value. It means digital picture quality and sound, one-touch VCR recording, the ultimate in parental control, and tons of other great digital features without having to buy a new television, unsightly dishes, or antennas. I'm talking over 200 channels brought right into your living room. So, you excited? Well, before you go off and test drive this thing, let's walk through this informational video together. While this video does touch on a lot of important functions and features, it doesn't cover everything. That's what your Cox Digital Cable Handbook is for. So, anytime you have a question about something or need more information, just refer to your handbook. If your cable box or your remote control looks different from the ones here, do not be alarmed. In most cases, the controls do operate the same way, but um, just to be safe, you might want to look over the instructions that came with your remote. Okay, in this video, here's what we're going to cover. Remote control features, the interactive program guide, channel browsing, the favorites button, pin codes, Cox in demand or pay-per-view as some people still call it, parental control, VCR recording, music choice, and settings. If you notice on the screen here, we've assigned a different color to each section. As you watch the tape, you'll see that we start each new section with that assigned color. We did that to make it easier for you to find particular sections in this video. Now let's talk about your Cox Digital Cable Remote Control. I know, I know, with so many buttons it looks like some high-tech space-age tool, but really it's very simple to use once you understand the different sections on the remote. Here they are. The top part is the power panel section, where you turn your equipment on and off. This middle part is called the navigation panel, which you'll use to maneuver yourself around. This next section is your function keys, which you'll use for making on-screen selections. Below that is your numeric keypad, where you'll enter channel numbers and pin numbers. And at the bottom is the VCR panel. See, it's not that confusing, is it? Your remote should already be programmed and ready to go, but if it's not operating properly, just refer to your handbook and follow the instructions on how to program your remote. This section of the handbook also tells how to program your remote to operate other electronic components, so you really should check it out sometime. Oh, by the way, when using your remote for Cox Digital Cable, make sure you point it at your Cox Digital receiver, not your TV or your VCR. People make this mistake all the time, so you might just want to keep that in mind. The Interactive Program Guide, which I'll refer to as the IPG, is a quick and convenient way to find out what's on your TV and view a list of upcoming programs for the next seven days. With the IPG, it's always easy to know what's coming on. Simply press the Guide button to access the IPG main screen. Then, press the red C button to cue the guide to the current time. The channel and program you're currently watching is highlighted. Channel browsing is a great way to find the programs you want to watch, and Cox Digital Cable offers several different ways to channel browse. You can channel browse by time, by theme, by title, and by date. First, let's learn how to channel browse while watching TV. Press any arrow button or the info button once, and the channel banner will appear with the time and channel information about the show you're currently watching. Press Info again to view more details about the program. Now let's learn how to channel browse by time. This feature lists the available programs in order by time of day. This way you can easily view what time programs are on and plan your day accordingly. First, press the Guide button and the IPG main screen appears in Browse by Time. By the way, the IPG appears two hours ahead with the program on the first channel in the lineup already highlighted. You can begin to browse from here or press the C button for the current time and channel. 
Then press the up and down arrow buttons to move through the channels. And press the right and left arrow buttons to move through the time periods. Right takes you forward in time, left takes you backward in time. Then press select to watch a highlighted program if it's on now. See, I knew you were going to like this. Now, check this out. Channel browsing by theme. This feature allows you to search for programs available by category and name. So, if you're in the mood to watch, oh, say, a comedy program, this is where this feature really comes in handy. Again, start off by pressing the Guide button, and the IPG main screen appears in Browse by Time. Next, press the A button to display the Browse by menu, then press the Up or Down arrow buttons to highlight theme. Press Select and the IPG appears in the Browse by Theme view with the theme for the program you're currently watching highlighted. By the way, the asterisk indicates that the program is currently showing. Now, press the left arrow button to move the theme list. From the theme list, press up and down to scroll through the themes. Highlight the theme you want, which in our case is going to be comedy. Press the right arrow button or the select button to move to the list of programs for that theme and press up or down to scroll through the programs for that theme. Then you press select to watch the highlighted program if it's in the current time period. If the show airs at a later time, press select and you can set a reminder to tell you when the show is starting. If you want to return to what you were originally watching in the theme view, press the C button to highlight the program. Here's another great way to browse. Browsing by title. This feature lists programs in alphabetical order by their title, making it super easy to locate a program you want to watch. Start off by pressing the Guide button to show your IPG main screen preset in Browse by Time. Press the A button to display the Browse by menu. Use the up or down arrow button to highlight title. Press select and the IPG now appears in the Browse by Title view with the title of the program you're currently watching highlighted. Press the left arrow button to move over to the alphabetical list. Now let's cover the last way to browse, which is browsing by a different date. This feature is designed to let you view upcoming program information for seven days in advance by changing the date for browsing. And when you think about it, it's a really great way to plan your week so you don't miss your favorite programs coming up. Again, start with pressing the Guide button to call up the IPG main screen. Press the C button to cue the guide to the current time. Press the B button to view the date screen. FYI, you can do this while you're in any one of the other three browsing views that we just mentioned. Next, use the up or down arrow button to highlight the date you want to view. Press the Select button and you'll see the programs listed are for the date selected at the current time. Now use the up or down arrow button to scroll through the listing of network choices. Press the left and right arrow buttons to move through the time periods to see what will be showing. The Favorites button lets you skip over other channels and only browse through the channels you've set up as your absolute favorites. Hey, since Cox Digital Cable offers so many great new choices, it's nice to have a feature like the Favorites button that lets you jump right to your most watched channels. First, you need to select your favorite channels. So, from the IPG, press the Settings button at the general settings menu, highlight Viewer Favorites, then press Select. Press the up or down buttons and highlight the channel to add or remove for your list of favorites. Then press Select to add or remove a highlighted channel to your list. You see that blue ribbon symbol? That indicates that this is a favorite channel. Once you've finished creating your new list of favorite channels, press the A button and return to the General Settings menu. And to return to watching television, press Exit. Okay, you're all set. So press the FAV button and you can start surfing your very own customized list of favorites. Gotta like that.
A pin code is what you'll need for parental control and ordering Cox in demand. Now, here's the deal. In case your cable installer didn't tell you, Cox Digital Cable comes with a pre-established pin number. So you might want to change this number to your own private pin that nobody else knows. If you don't know what the pre-existing pin number is, don't worry. Just call the customer service phone number listed in the front of your handbook or at the end of this video. Oh, and one more thing. If you want, you can create one pin number for parental control and a different pin for ordering Cox in demand. Or, if you're like me and you have trouble remembering all those numbers, you can use the same PIN number for both. Okay, here's how to create your parental control PIN code. From the IPG, press the Settings button. This takes you to the General Settings menu. From here, press the Up or Down arrow button to highlight Block PIN. Press Select, then press the Up or Down key to highlight Change Option. Press Select. Enter the Cox pre-established PIN code. Then, enter your new PIN. Then, re-enter your new PIN code to confirm, and you're finished. To return to watching television, press the Exit button. Establishing your Cox in-demand PIN code works the same way. So, follow the same sequence of steps, except at the General Settings menu, press the Up or Down arrow buttons, and this time, you highlight PPV PIN. Hey, do you like hit movies, incredible concerts, and big time events? Then you're gonna love Cox In Demand. Forget about driving to the video store, paying high prices for concert tickets, or getting stuck in that stadium traffic. Cox In Demand brings more entertainment choices and more convenience right into your home. Here's how you order Cox In Demand. Press the Guide button to show the IPG main screen. As you can see, it will appear in the Browse by Time view. Next, press the Up, Down, Right, and Left arrow buttons to find the event you want to purchase. Then, press Select. If you can order the program at this time, the Preview or Purchase screen will appear with event information. Next, press the B button to buy the event, then enter your PIN number. Then, just kick back and enjoy the best seats in the house to the hottest movies, sold-out concerts, boxing matches, wrestling events, you name it. With over 200 channels to choose from, there's going to be some programming that's inappropriate for kids. Not to worry, because with parental control, you can manage what your kids watch, even if you're not there. Starting at the general settings menu, press up, or down until you highlight block channels. Press select, then enter your pin code. Next, use the up and down buttons to highlight each channel you want to block. Then, press select. You see that padlock symbol? It'll appear next to every channel you've chosen to block. Then, when all the channels you want to block have a padlock shown, Press the A button to accept. Let's say you want to watch a program on a block channel. No problem. Simply tune to the block channel, press select, then enter your parental control pin code. Now that you've set up your blocks and know how to watch a blocked program, you've got to turn parental control on to enable these blocks. So while watching any television program full screen, press the settings button. From the Quick Settings menu, press the Up and Down buttons to highlight Turn Off On Parental Control. Press the Select button to change the setting to On, then enter your PIN number. And if you want to turn Parental Control to Off, press the Select button to Off. Just remember, when Parental Control is off, all channels you may have blocked earlier are now unblocked and they can be viewed by anyone. So if you're ever unsure whether parental control is on or off, just look at the padlock symbol next to the program ID and see if it's locked or unlocked. Next, let's discuss recording with your VCR commander. This is your VCR commander right here. 
It should already be hooked up and ready to go, but if not, just refer to your handbook for instruction. Want to record a program showing on a future date? Okay, first, don't forget that blank tape in the VCR. Next, make sure your digital receiver is powered on and turn off your VCR. Press guide and the IPG appears. Then use the up, down, and right cursor buttons to highlight the future program you want to record. Press select and the future program options screen appears. Use the up and down buttons to highlight set a VCR timer. Press select to set the timer and the main IPG screen shows your program highlighted. Do you see the REC icon? That indicates a VCR timer is set. Then, if you want to return to TV viewing, just press exit. Here's another great feature you'll love with Cox Digital Cable. It's the distinct sound of music choice. You can choose from a wide selection of music channels playing your favorite kind of music. Country, rock, jazz. There's a music channel for everyone's taste. Press the guide button to bring up the IPG main screen. Then use the up and down arrow buttons to move through the channels and highlight your choice of a digital music channel. When you found the digital music channel you want, for instance, uh, let's pick soft rock, press select, and voila, the pristine sound of digital music. Another great thing about Cox Digital Cable is it offers a bunch of helpful settings which enable you to set up certain features based on your specific preferences. In other words, these settings help make watching Cox Digital Cable even more enjoyable. Now, it would take me too long to cover all of them, so I suggest you go to your handbook and familiarize yourself with the ones that appeal to you most. The one setting I do want to cover is language settings. This is how you set up second audio programming, or SAP. You have two options. The first option is you can set for audio on your digital channels, which support more than one language. And the second option is you can set your screen language for screen displays on your IPG. Here's all you do for changing the audio on digital channels. From the IPG, press the Settings button, and you'll see General Settings. Scroll down or up to highlight language audio and press select. Then highlight your language choice. Let's say it's Spanish. Press select and you're done. Oh, es excelente. So go ahead and start experiencing the ultimate in entertainment, sports news, and information, all brought right into the convenience of your home by Cox Digital Cable. Oh, and remember, if you ever have any questions, just refer to your handbook, visit our website, or call Cox Communications Customer Service for more information. Enjoy!